man, this is this is crazy, bro. The world is like real life crazy. Real life crazy. The people, what what goes through y'all mind when y'all think about doing stuff like this? Now, I believe this is the second school shooting that happened in Texas. This month or this week or however. I just know that I react to another school shooting that happened. And then now this school shooting. Now, the other one was actually a grown man who shot up the building. Now, or who shot in the school or whatever you want to call it. But now it's a kid that got a gun that's shooting. Like, that, that actually shot some people. Now, I don't know the whole story on the situation. Like I said, I'm new to this. Just, like, probably half of y'all are. I seen the situation on like the shade room. I seen people post it, saying pray for Texas. So we finna see what actually happened, man. I'm gonna get my thoughts on it and just my points on it. You feel me? So without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, come on. Good everyone. I'm Kira Phillips. We are coming on the air with breaking news: a school shooting at a high school in Arlington, Texas. Police have responded to Timberview High School. You are looking at live pictures right now after reports that multiple people were shot there this morning. The school does remain on lockdown with heavy police presence in that area. First responders on the scene, students and staff, we are told, have been locked inside their classrooms and offices. No visitors allowed to enter the premises at this time. Police say that an unknown suspect came to that school, shot multiple victims, and then immediately fled the scene. The exact number of victims and their conditions unknown at this time. Police say that the scene there. Now, now they say unknown, but the person that I seen, the person I seen on, you know, they finally found out who did it. Uh, he was 18 years old. He's an 18 year old black male. Um, he had like a little driller. I forgot his name, but he was 18. He was a black male. He, uh, he didn't want to shout out the school now. How I know this because it's like literally on the shade room. It's all over. They they showed the picture of the person and everything. I'm just confused, bro. What 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 was your point? I just want to know what was your point behind all this. You you injure other students. What was your point? What was your point coming to a building? A school is supposed to be for people to get their education, not for people to be shot at. It's they're at the high school is secure at this time and that there is no current threat to the public or the school. I can tell you the SWAT team entered from the front doors of that school. They are methodically searching the high school hallways and classrooms. Students now will be bused to a reunification point at a performing arts center not far from that high school. Once again, if you are just now uh, tuning in, we are following what was an active shooter situation in Timberview High School there in Arlington, Texas. The school still on lockdown as police officers have entered that massive complex. A little less than 2,000 students, uh, we are told, attend this school. Uh, about 100 teachers. You can see the school buses lined up there on the outside of uh, the perimeter, outside that high school. Along those buses, you see various police cars, uh, police Police motorcycles that's part of the escort uh, of those school buses those are the buses that are going to actually uh, take those students not far from that school to a performing arts center where they can is, uh, connect with their this is just crazy bro this is just crazy I'm just like I'm honestly lost for words like I mean dog this is the second school shooting that I've done seen in Texas it's like Texas is one of the states that I would have never thought this stuff could that could happen. I, I really would never thought Texas would be one of those places where people will actually shoot into schools and do what they like. It's just pointless. And to the 18 year old boy out there, like, I'm just confused on what made you want to do this. What was going through your mind to say, you know what? And wait, first of all, why do kids have guns? And this is why we can't get our gun license. I don't know about anywhere else, but this, but I know in Illinois, we cannot have a gun license until 21. This is this exactly why. Even at 21, people still do dumb stuff. But it just stands like this. Like, dog. I mean, like, I'm just confused. What was your point? What was your point of shooting other kids? Mothers crying and all this and that because they kids getting shot left and right. It's like, bro, like, 
you can say stop the gun violence, you can protest, you can do what you do, you can do all that. People not gonna listen. They still go do what they want to do. People think shooting a gun makes them a man. They think doing all this makes them tough. It doesn't. It makes you weak. That shows that you can't actually fight. Now, the story that I heard from this situation was basically, um, the story that I heard was on Shay Room and people posting it on, you know, everywhere. People posting it on YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter, everywhere. The story I heard was an 18 year old, and I heard I heard that it was 18 year old, uh, black male, and they said a fight broke out. It all started with a fight or something. But they they said he was an unknown person. So I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. It's just crazy to me. Like, <laughs> you did all this for what, bro? You're 18. You have your whole life ahead of you. You're the same age as me, bro. Same age as me. And you went to a school to shoot people. Same age as me. You could be trying to chase your dreams, chase what you want to do. I'm chasing my dreams right now. YouTube is my dream. I'm chasing this. You could be doing so much more with your life, but you choose to kill and murder people. For what? It, it it's not going it's not gonna bring you no good, bro. No good. Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I don't think it's Your nothing parents. else. Uh, a lot of very nervous parents, as you can imagine. Uh, we were, there's the address actually for the uh, Center for Performing Arts uh, at 1110 West Debbie. It says officers will be at that scene. Students will eventually be bused to that location after the school is completely secure. Hi, everyone. So, yeah, it was nothing else to it, but man, that's crazy, dog. Uh, Pray for Texas, man. Pray for Texas. I never thought that Texas would be, you know, because Texas, it got so many nice people, so many, so many uplifting people there. So I would never thought this situation would happen in Texas. But uh, yeah, anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, The Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.